Hi guys, it's Love Brittany Nicole. Thank you for coming to my channel. So today we're going to attempt to do a DIY project. I'm planning on doing some wall art for my room. So I have this little theme going on. So my room colors are black, white, and gold. It's gonna have like a little fluid art painting type of thing on the canvas. So I've looked at a few videos on YouTube. I've watched a YouTuber named Raven Elise attempt to do this, this little fluid art painting. She didn't really like how hers came out, but after looking at some pictures on Pinterest, I thought, you know, maybe it wouldn't be that difficult to do. So, Hopefully the painting comes out okay. I'm not an artist. <laughs> I'm just doing this for fun. Like I have nothing to do. Since we're in quarantine, like why not? Why not just do something creative, you know? So I'm planning on putting these wall art on top of my bed. So right now I have some letters that spell out queen, but I got tired of seeing it and the letters are falling. Like it's just a mess. I outgrew it. I. I just need something new. I just want to, you know, vamp up my room a little bit, spice it up. So that's why I decided to do some wall art today. So let me just show you guys what I got. So I bought some black acrylic paint. This is the two fluid ounces ones. These are from Dollar Tree. I bought four of these. I also bought the white, I'm just now seeing this as gloss acrylic paint. Hopefully it's not an issue, but it's still acrylic paint, so I think it should be fine. So these are the white two fluid ounces acrylic paint from Walmart. I bought five of these. I also bought one bottle of gold paint, gold acrylic paint, and this is the eight fluid ounces one. I won't need that much gold because I already have a lot of gold incorporated around the room, especially with the wall right here. Like it's gold and white, it's a huge wall with this wallpaper on it. So I don't need too much gold in the painting. So these are the canvases that I bought. I bought three of these. These are the 18 by 18 inch right here. I bought three of them. Hopefully I might end up using just two because I don't want the three of them to be, you know, too cramped up together so I might not have enough space to put all three so I might just end up using two because it might not appear big on camera but they're pretty big like they're a pretty big size so I don't know yet so I'll insert a clip of how it looks above my bed so you could see what I'm working with so yeah this hopefully it comes out okay if it doesn't you're probably not gonna see this video all right so i forgot to mention you guys that i also bought an 8 by 10 inch canvas you know just to do like a little test trial or test run you know just to see how it comes out if you know if i end up messing up on the um 8 by 10 inch canvas then it won't be that big a deal because i did it like on a little small one before if you guys hear any thunder or lightning or noise in the background it's raining outside so just ignore it um <laughs> but yeah you know just in case if i mess up it won't be on the actual thing so i won't be that upset so if you guys want to see how it comes out just keep on watching okay so i started off with showing you guys what i got so i got some spoons a few cups to put the paint in and some gloves I also went ahead and got some trash bags, which is what I put on the ground, as you can see. And I also got a cup of water. Well, actually, I put the water in a water bottle, so don't even mind that if you see, like, a smart water bottle. You're going to see me grab it. Here I am putting my gloves on. So I'm grabbing the black paint, and I'm squeezing it into the cup that I have right there with the spoon. I'm gonna then add a little bit of water because it's not really runny enough for me and I need it a little runny when it goes on the canvas. I'm gonna mix it a little bit. Make sure it's not too clumpy. Make sure it's not too runny. But just a decent consistency. And I'm gonna do that for the white paint and also the gold. For the white paint, I realized that I didn't need to add too much water because it's it's a good consistency already. And so is the gold paint. So I'll only add like a little bit.
So I'm grabbing the black paint, pouring a little bit onto the canvas. Well, that's not really a little bit, <laughs> but a good amount. And then I'm going ahead with the white paint. And that was one mistake that I um, made already. I learned that I was supposed to put the white paint before the black because you're gonna see me tilt the canvas. And as I'm tilting it, the white paint is covering the black. So I should have put the white paint first and then the black paint and then the gold. I'm just tilting, just keep on tilting. Adding a little bit of gold. Even though it's falling on the ground, I don't mind it because of the trash bags that I decided to put on the ground. But I'm just turning the canvas around, adding more paint if needed. I'm just gonna do that over and over. Okay, so since this is the Tetra one, I'm not too worried about it that much, but this is how it came out. It doesn't have enough black for me, so when I do the bigger canvases, I'm gonna add a lot more black on it, but it still came out cute. So it's pretty simple to do. Um, honestly, all you're doing is pouring paint onto the canvas. Like, that's really the technique to it. But when I'm doing the bigger canvases, I'm just gonna speed up the process, so you can just watch that. To make this whole process go quicker, I got on FaceTime with my best friend if you're wondering why my lips are moving. She had to make sure that I wasn't messing anything up. So this is the final outcome. I'm really happy with how it came out. I'm a whole artist out here. <laughs> Hire me. <laughs> I'm kidding. So I felt like my canvases were still missing something. So I added some foil flakes. I got it off of Amazon and I glued them onto the canvas where the gold parts are. But yeah, so these are my canvases. Thank you so much you guys for watching.